Hey everybody, welcome back to Bar Run Forge. We're here today again uh, for another project. It's been a little while since we put out an actual project, since we did the spoon, I think. Uh, so we're going to try another project. Uh, we're going to do two things today. They'll probably be two different videos. Uh, one will be a slitting chisel. Uh, we're going to do that out of some sp coil spring steel uh, that was given to us by a local mechanic. And uh, we're also going to try a roasting fork. So we'll separate those into two videos. And uh, then we'll try to, again, as we normally do, relate that to some sort of uh, biblical principle and uh, see how we can help, that, help our lives out in that way. Uh, I know during this time it's, it's difficult uh, to find the positive and the encouraging pieces in this, but I'm here to tell you that, uh, that we're, we're going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Uh, I know that many people are suffering. As many people have had some issues uh, with their health and with, uh, with the anxiety and everything related to this, but uh, I know that God has a plan for us and that God uh, has definitely got this under control. Uh, and in the process, we can learn how to, to adapt. Anyway, we'll get to that here in just a little bit, but uh, let's get everything fired up. We're going to run uh, everything in the uh, propane forge today, uh, so that kind of makes it easier on the uh, tempering and the hardening pieces that uh, to watch the temperatures. So let's get to it. We've gone ahead and we've taken the time to straighten out a piece of coil spring. I'll show that to you. Straighten out that piece of coil spring, and uh, so what we're going to do is fire the uh, the forge back up, and then we're going to. Uh, I know this is absolutely too long, but that's okay. We're going to cut it off where we need to. It makes it easier to work with. Going to make down on the end. We're going to put our chisel in, and then I like to f almost flatten or at least put a flatter spot on part of the place where I hold it. Uh, it just makes it more indexable, and I can also put tongs on it makes it easier to grab and it doesn't have a tendency to twist. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that and uh, get going. So we've got our piece hot enough. What I'm first going to do is just set down that section that, uh, that I want to be able to hold it in. That also helped me tell where I want to want square off uh, the piece for the chisel. So we'll just set that down. Just about enough to put my hand on or that I can index with a chisel with a uh, a set of tongs. All right, straighten that up just a little bit. Just trying to keep everything square. And that ought to do it. All right, bring in the uh, the piece out to the anvil, trying to keep that right where we squared up, bring it to the edge, and just start smashing. Flatten that out, try to stay as even as possible. Again, this is going to be a slitting chisel, so we want to try to kind of thin it out a little bit. Work on both sides, so we try to keep it square and even. We're not far off right now, so just keep going. And back in the forge we go. Just continuing to refine the uh, chisel here. I actually want the chisel in a bit of an a bit of an arc. See, we can show that to you. We want the chisel in a bit of an arc so that we can kind of rock it through whatever it is that we're cutting. It makes it easier to kind of guide yourself along a cut. We'll be able to fix any kind of uh, twist or anything like that uh, when we get into the grinding and the finishing part of it, but I'm getting pretty pretty pleased with that. We'll uh, we'll definitely definitely need to do some refining on it, but uh, all in all, I think we're in pretty good shape. 
You know, one of the things that is pretty, I don't know, when you need a tool, you make a tool. That's kind of a blacksmith code, right? So, you know, one of the things that is kind of scary is trying to get into making your own tools. So basically what I did was I watched a lot of information, I watched a lot of videos. Guys like John Switzer at Black Bear Forge, uh, Roy uh, Adams at Christ Centered Ironworks, uh, Mark Asprey. These guys just do a great job of demonstrating how to make tools and to not be afraid of it, to just to go out and do it. Um, so I've got some material. I've made a few other pieces so far. And uh, so just making the tool that I need. We're going to continue to do that. Last little bit of refining on the, uh, on the edge of the chisel before we start looking at the cutting it off. Uh, we'll cut it off about three quarters of an inch to an inch just above where we had set up for our handle. But that's, that's pretty much it on the shaping of the chisel. Be able to do everything else on the grinder. Well, we're getting ready to cut it off, so I, I'm going to leave the forage running. Hopefully, the uh, noise is not too bad. But we're going to go ahead and take it right to the hardy cut. Again, take about three quarters of an inch to an inch. Set that. Get it back in the fire, keep it hot. Again, being careful not to go all the way through. And we'll set that off to the side for another project. Bring that over to the anvil and straighten it up a little bit. Then we'll work on that, the struck end, here in just a moment. Just going to bevel the end. I'm going to take this over to the vise here in just a moment, do some filing, some grinding, get that rag off of there, off the struck end, basically just square everything up. I'm basically putting a bevel on it just to concentrate the blow uh, when you're striking it, and when it mushrooms, because it will mushroom, it won't be near as bad. All right, so I like that. Again, we'll take that. We'll take that to the uh, to the vise. Do some work on it. Straighten everything up. All right, we completed our slitting chisel. And uh, so now we want to talk about it. We want to uh, show you, first of all, there it is. And I know some of you are looking at it thinking that's not perfectly straight. It's got lumps and bumps in it. May not be the perfect degree on the cut or the angle, but this is my chisel. And, uh, and I'm going to use it as best I can. I decided the other day to make a few other punches made a, a round punch I like to do that so I can inset a screw so I made that round punch made a regular punch the punch I had been using um, was an old craftsman cold punch uh, so shouldn't really be using that and it's gotten warped a little bit I'm gonna have to dress it up so I made my own 
and I just kind of used it in the style I like to use it. But here's the chisel, and I want to talk to you about the chisel a little bit. The reason why I made it a little bit of a curve right there is when you're working in a piece of hot metal and you're trying to cut in a line, you can kind of walk this chisel down the line. And that way you don't have these real sharp, jagged pieces. Every time you cut, move it down and cut, move it down. So I kind of like this style a little bit better um, so that it can, it can kind of walk along. You can find your line and just work your way down the hot line there. But it's not just the tool I want to talk to you about. There's something that a slitting chisel does. It divides. Yeah, it splits, as we say, a slit or a split. So one of the things that I want to do with a slitting chisel <laughs> is to divide. But one of the things I want to do with you today is to talk to you about dividing. Now, if you look behind me here, let's read 2 Timothy 2.15 says for us to study to show thyself approved, or study to show yourself approved. And it describes what that is. You're approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You see, as Christians, it is our job to study, to be into the word of God, into every little piece of it. In fact, what that requires of us to be approved, a workman, somebody who's there to do the work, is that we have to divide the word of truth. We have to go through and look at it. Some translations will say discern or to, to really look at, really dig into depth into the word of God. So that tools like this, tools like this can be used to really dig down to the truth, rightly dividing the truth, the Word of God. So I want to encourage you today to go get into the Word of God, to get out to your shop, uh, make whatever it is that you make. If you're not a blacksmith, if you're a woodworker, get out there and do that. But again, uh, as we always say, be safe. Make sure you wear your safety glasses, uh, you know, whatever safety equipment is required. You know, for all of you who are out there in, in the medical profession and, and our first responders, people like that, they have their own protective equipment, and, and uh, I'm thankful that they have the opportunity to get those. I pray that they'll continue to be able to get those. But we have our own in here, for example, gloves, shop aprons, hearing protection, uh, safety glasses, uh, and sometimes a, a mask to, to get rid of particulates in the air. So we have our safety measures as well. So I encourage you to do that. And uh, I encourage you to get into the Word of God and rightly divide. Rightly divide that Word so you can be that workman approved. God bless you all, and, and I'm excited to bring you another video very soon. Uh, got a project I'm going to do yet today, so hopefully we'll be able to have a video again out real soon. Just remember to subscribe. Hit that like button if you indeed like this, and then hit that little bell down there as a reminder of every time we have a video come out that you get reminded, you get told that it comes. Uh, so, again, God bless you all. See you on the next one.